Hello, and you've been pulled into the Black Dimension. Uh, I am Kev, and we are here with our review of the latest installment in the Jurassic Park, Jurassic World franchise, Jurassic World Dominion. Um, before I get started on any spoilers, uh, we have a rating system. Uh, uh, the three ratings that we have for each film that we review is either buy which is definitely go check this film out bootleg which is uh you can go see it um but you know you can very well wait till it hits red box or even network television for that matter and bomb is don't waste your time you can still go see it but don't get mad at us we already warned you so um very easily to say that this movie is a uh, bootleg uh, and I will tell you why. Um, the only reason to ever check out a new Jurassic World, Jurassic Park film is to see what new dinosaurs they have in it. Um, you know, you see if it's improved on the last one, which really the films, these, these particular series of films um, fail to capture the magic of even the first Jurassic Park film. Um, this it, it, it is what it is and um, in our humble opinion uh, hopefully this is the last film that they ever make of this franchise they, they, they it just doesn't seem that they're going to get any better they, the films have gotten progressively uh, bleh, I'll say that but uh, one thing I will say about Jurassic World Dominion um uh, is slightly better than Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. I'll say that much. Um, let's see. Uh, this film does see the return of uh, main characters from the first Jurassic Park trilogy. Uh, Sam Neill returns as Dr. Alan Grant. Laura Dern returns as Dr. Ellie Sattler. And Jeff Goldblum returns as Dr. Ian Malcolm, who was always fun. Um, the one thing that I did notice was, it's just like with Dr. Grant, it's just, he just seems like he was just still amazed and he had that look on his face like, oh my God, dinosaurs. And like, just how, how many years have you been at this? <laughs> um, the premise of the film is basically the world has gotten used to, um, you know, having dinosaurs as a part of it once again. So current current modern day existence had to learn how to live with the prehistoric existence and you know it's just it, it was just a convoluted plot altogether um you had this corporation named biosyn uh that uh the the scientist the, the main scientist dr Wu, i believe <laughs> Uh, uh, played by B.D. Wong returns and he engineered some prehistoric locusts that uh, is about to take out the world's food supply and what he needed to do to solve this problem was kidnap this little girl named uh, Maisie Lockwood who was a clone of a scientist named Charlotte Lockwood who apparently died some years back uh, after giving birth to Macy. So... <laughs> Uh, they do that, and then they also have Blue, who is the Velociraptor with the blue streak, who gave birth uh, to her own little uh, offspring, whom uh, Macy names Beta. You know, what you know, Dr. Wu needs is for um, Macy, uh, you know, they, they've fixed some kind of genetic disorder. It would, he, they explained it in some kind of, kind of really scientific way is that if they figure out what they did to fix uh, the genetic disorder Charlotte had, that she could have passed to Macy, they could kill all the locusts. You know, Dr. Wu just kind of seemed like a crybaby after all of these years of being kind of sinister and bringing back the dinosaurs. But you know, that that's that's the least of the movie's problems. Um, the, the the primary antagonist of the film was uh, Dr. Lewis uh, Dawson, played by Campbell Scott. Um, it, you know, he was just kind of kind came off as a nice guy at first, but then, you know, he had sinister plans for uh, the big corporation of Biosyn. And um, 
just uh he died just like any villain type character in uh any of these films they get eaten which you know is always a cool sight uh <laughs> Yeah, it's like, um, but I kind of see this film right here as just a really, really cheesy way to bring together the uh, meaningful characters from the first trilogy of films uh, and with the newer um, uh, characters of in this trilogy of films uh, played by Chris Pratt, you know, who's reprising his role as Owen Grady. Bryce Dallas Howard also returns. Uh, and yes, they have this new uh, this new pilot character named Kayla Watts. I mean, if you don't pay close enough attention, you will never even catch her name. <laughs> also, you had the return of Omar C, who was not a real major character in the first Jurassic World, you know, but he was kind of you know, uh, Owen Grady's helper, you know, helped train the Velociraptors. So it was, it was kind of good to see him return as well. But um, like I said, one thing that uh, kind of got me about Dr. Alan Grant returning was he just seemed like he had the same look on his face as he did in the first Jurassic Park. Oh, dinosaurs! When you literally have a world full of dinosaurs that are all in them. And I just don't see how the humans can coexist. Like, I don't see how these dinosaurs didn't kill half of humanity. But, um, yeah, there was a couple of cool scenes in it. Like, you know, the it was a street chase scene where uh, the, the Kayla and uh, Claire, played by Bryce Dallas Howard, was trying to run away from some, uh, well, they was driving away from some killer velociraptors. And, uh, you know, Owen Grady was on the motorcycle trying to get away from a couple of velociraptors, too. And, you know, the, the, the way he got in the plane, uh, I thought, which was kind of cool, you know, is it's just if you go see the movie, you'll see the scene where he got on the plane and then the Velociraptor jumped on the plane. He jumped on with the motorcycle and then the motorcycle kicks back and knocks the killer Velociraptor off. But, um, yeah, mostly the reason why you would go see these films in, in, in today's climate of movies is just to see what new dinosaurs are in it. Um, just saying that this needs to be the end of them. These films are probably not going to get any better. <laughs> I would say uh, the, the, the magic of the first film just falls short in every other film afterwards. Although I did kind of did like Jurassic World. I thought the Indominus Rex was cool. But um, it just that that it within itself got old like the one thing they did different in this film is they didn't do any kind of hybrids they were all they, they were all just straight up species this time um you've seen some different dinosaurs like one of my favorite dinosaurs is Demetra Dunn um that makes an appearance in this film um uh, also it features a uh, gigantosaurus which is the uh, largest predator, uh, I guess, in dinosaur history. <laughs> but um, outside of that, this film really doesn't offer uh, too much. Like, you're not going to leave the theater like, oh my God, this film was so awesome. Jesus, I'm going to go and see it again tomorrow. You know, I mean... <laughs> It, just, it, it ain't like it's watching like a, a, a phase three Marvel film or anything like that. Uh, but uh, as I stated at the beginning of this review, uh, this movie is definitely a bootleg. Um, I didn't put too many spoilers out there, so go see it for yourself. You might have a different uh, opinion about it from me, but for the most part, I believe just like the fast and furious franchise should have died like three or four movies ago that they need to just go ahead and just leave on this note uh just just let it go uh maybe a theme park or something or some kind of attraction <laughs> but outside of that is 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 done is done uh toy line as well you know uh kids think that dinosaurs are cool but as far as this being movies, I think that they need to go ahead and put this from the rest. But hey, like I said, just my opinion. But anyway, uh, let me know what you think in the comments if you've seen this film. Even if you disagree or even if you agree, you know, maybe you thought that I was being too harsh about this film. 
Maybe you thought that I was being too nice. But anyway, just let me know what y'all think in the comments. And uh, uh, we will see you next time you have been pulled into the black dimension. Good luck finding your way out. Peace.